One of the things I love about Drupal is the ability for it to do, well, pretty much anything you want. I've started creating small Drupal sites to do very specific things. And in this video, I'm going to show you how Drupal can be your own QR code generator. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And like I said a moment ago, I just love how Drupal can be used to create your own versions of services that are out there on the internet. I mean, QR code generators are a dime a dozen. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. The most important thing is that you don't control any of them. They're all services that you either pay for or use. By creating your own Drupal site to manage your QR codes, well, then they're yours. You can do anything you want with them, including track how many times they've been used. All right, well, let's dive in and take a look at and see how I did this. Well, it all starts with, well, you guessed it, a module. It's called the QR code module, drupal.org slash project slash QR code. It's only in alpha three at the time of this recording, but it is recommended by the project maintainers. The composer link is on the screen, but again, at the time of this recording, I've got a little caveat for you. There's an open issue where once you install it and go to click add new QR code, well, guess what? You get the website has encountered screen of death. There's a problem. It's a simple patch. By the time you watch this, it's probably already implemented in the new version. But just in case it isn't, just come over here, take a look at the patch. It's right here. If you don't know how to patch a module via Composer, there's a really terrific article here from Media Current a quicker way to apply a Drupal contrib patch. Essentially, all you have to do is say curl the patch URL, which of course you get by clicking on this. Once you get to that screen, that's the patch URL. Pipe patch dash P1. Now, when you run this, it's going to ask you which file you want to actually patch. And the file to patch is right here modules contrib QR code SRC form QR code form.php. So really simple, run the command, put that line in, hit enter, you'll be patched and guess what? You'll be able to add QR codes. So let's go ahead and do it. It's under configuration, web services, QR codes, and I can add a QR code. I'm gonna put one to OS training and HTTPS, Dot com. And if you leave this unchecked, it's going to count the number of clicks and you'll be able to edit it later. So I'm going to leave it unchecked, click save. And there it is. There's the QR code right there. And I'm going to quickly just scan it with my phone. And if I hit refresh on the page, there you go it's already had one hit. Now I can simply download the image and paste it anywhere I want. Well, I say this all the time. It doesn't get much simpler than that. And I know this is kind of a specific use case scenario, but honestly, what I've found myself doing lately is creating my own services and I'm using Drupal to do it. So I have a URL shortener website, rodsurl.com. I can go there. I can make any shortcut I want and publish it anywhere I want. Now I have a QR code generator too. How cool is that? <laughs> well, I hope this has been a little bit fun and a little bit helpful today. My name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. We release new videos every week. We'll see you next time.